Never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd be at one of the most iconic horror movie locations of all time, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. Leatherface's home was moved to Kingsland, Texas in 1998 and restored into a restaurant as part of a hotel and railroad district. All right, guys, we have a really cool episode for you guys. We are at the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. You excited? Hell yeah, dude. Oh man, this is like a blessing. Leatherface. This is a blessing. <laughs> I just picture the chip just running out of Leatherface <laughs> behind her, dragging her ass in the house. We had such a nice talkative breakfast, as you can see. The food was delicious. I have a bar here, guys. Look at that. Let's check it out. I think I want to... Dude, check this out. Whoa. Yeah. They this the right hand side of the house of the stairs was not used. Okay. Because a family was actually renting the house and they lived on that side of the house during the filming of the movie. Okay. So that family lived there. Yeah. In the hallway there's a picture of a little boy on the stairwell. Yeah. He's probably three or four. He was the one that actually lived in the house during the filming of the movie. What? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, That's can you cool. imagine it yeah. it was moved in seven pieces over to here. Since then, there's been lots of ghost stories. Her name is Julia. Julia. Yes. We have a medium code. Yes. We really? Have a medium yeah. code. Yes. Several of them, actually. Yeah. And they have experienced Julia, also another man upstairs that actually is in the bathrooms um, smoking cigarettes because that's the only place you can smoke and see. And we hear people walking up these stairs all the time. All the time, whether there's people in the house or not, and then we hear them running around in the house. That is the bathroom that the medium said a gentleman was actually smoking in that bathroom, uh -huh. and he told her that the reason he smoked in that bathroom is because that's the only place he could get privacy. I just got startled right there. <laughs> I was like, who's that over there? Yeah. That's very close to One time, don't know if it had anything to do with anything, we had a party of bridal women, you know, bridal. She sat down to have her picture made with him. Yeah. His face rolled into her breast. Whoa. She screamed the whole area hurt her. <laughs> the whole house hurt her. But yeah, he just kind of fell over into her. In her That's creepy. Yeah. Yeah, there's... Yep. Up here is where we hear the kids running, of course, because, mm -hmm. you know, you hear the foot play. Yeah. Footsteps. Any backstory to uh, the kids? No. No? They just do some no kids. Idea. Have no idea. The only backstory is we believe because we had a medium tell us that Julia was actually an Indian. Yeah. And this was an Indian burial ground when they. And if you have one kid, you know there's probably yes. a few more. Oh yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So yeah. And like Claire said, she sees them laughing or hears them laughing all the time, especially in the mornings when there's nobody here. Yeah. We're 
course, that's the window that she jumped out of the second time. What? Yeah. One time, I was putting our soda machine together. There was a piece of the soda machine missing. You remember that? Yes. Do you not? Yeah. We there were three of us. We looked Joy for it for, for yeah. We looked for looked for it for In, thirty minutes. Yeah. Went back to the soda machine. It was laying there. Does that creep you guys out, or you kind of kind of adjust it, adjust it, adjust it to it? What happened was we have these little one of the this part right here was missing. Oh, what? Yeah, it's got a red tip on it. There's no way you cannot find it. Right. We looked everywhere, could not find it. All of us did. We looked under there. It was nowhere. We came back, and it was laying right here, just like that, with the red up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> here it is. Here it is. There you go. Yeah. Pay attention to what yeah. I just did. First person that opens the, the door? Yes, I'm one of them. Me and the other cooks. In, in the mornings, you can hear things just slaying around. It's really? Like, it's like bacon noises. And that door right there, that kitchen door, you can see it kind of just swinging by itself. Yeah. And that's a heavy door. If you don't feel it, it's heavy. Well, it's because spring loaded too. Yeah. And you could just see it like swinging by itself. It's real creepy. Yeah. Uh, and the, the back door into the kitchen opens all the closes all the time. Oh, like yeah. nobody comes in. Slams, so slams shut. Yeah. I've heard yeah. that. Does this happen every day or is this Almost. once in a while? Almost every day. Every okay. day. Okay. Yeah. yeah. When I come in, there's nobody in the front of the house. And I always open the dining room. Yeah. Of course, that's the bone room. Yeah. This is the dining room. I open the dining room first. I come around that corner and I see a shadow run up these stairs almost every morning. I've heard a little girl. And, and like we talked in, uh, a little earlier ago, it's always like you just see it in the corner of yeah. your eye. Yeah. And then it's. Yeah. 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 Right. There was this one time that I could have sworn it was Claire talking to me, and I was following her and like talking to her, and it wasn't Claire. I go yeah. in the back, and Claire's in the back, like getting stuff ready in the back dish, and I was like sitting there, and I like looked up and like started talking to Claire again, and like she's gone. Yeah. So walked back in the back, and I was like, "Hey, Claire!" I was like, well, "I was like, do you hear me?" And she's like, "What do you mean?" And I wasn't talking to you. I was like, "Oh shit." Well, the one time we were outside, and he came out there. He's like, "What are you guys throwing against the house?" Yeah, yeah. We're like, yeah. What like do you you'll mean? hear we didn't banging. See anything. Um, the back door will open up anywhere or between. Slam like, shut. It'll open up and slam shut like someone's coming mm -hmm. in, and no one walk walk around the corner. You know. We want to thank Renee and the employees for taking time to share their ghost stories with us. If you are ever in Kinsland, Texas, we highly recommend you stop by the Grand Central Cafe. We cannot wait to return.